everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting unboxing. Who doesn't love a Chanel unboxing? All right guys, let's get right into it. Of course I have already opened it up because I needed to check. Like is everything right? Plus I couldn't even stand it, right? I needed to look. Okay, so this bag is not a classic, but it does come in the classic box. A lot of the Chanel bags, if it's not a classic, comes in a really cheap box. It drives me crazy for storage. This one is nice because we know it has the magnet. It's really thick, so it's gonna keep it in good condition. Of course, it had the ribbon and the Camilla flower and all of that, and that's exciting. Chanel paper, says Chanel on it. We love that. Okay guys, let's see what I just got. Take it out of the box. And as you can see, the color is revealed. <gasps> Isn't she pretty? I got myself a Chanel mini cocoa handle. Now on the viewfinder, it's coming up super, super coral. In reality, it's like a dusty pink, dusty rose, soft, Coral. Chanel is calling it pink and this and Chanel also calls this bag the flap bag with ha with a handle if you look on the Chanel website this bag says mini top handle flap bag but the internet is calling it the mini cocoa handle and of course we're gonna call it that because that is the cutest name ever it is so cute she's so beautiful let's take this felt off now this bag has the brushed gold hardware and this is my first bag with brushed hardware. Usually I go for really shiny hardware, um, but I wanted to do something different and a little bit out of my comfort zone. I love this bag, she's so pretty. So it's in the caviar leather and it has the pink or coral stitch through it. She's so cute four feet on the bottom, which I love. I hate going to a restaurant and putting my expensive bag on the dirty floor in the restaurant if there's nowhere to put it. I do not want to sit at my lap. You know, I don't want to put it on the table for display. So I never know what to do with it. And if I ask for a chair, oh, the rolling of the eyes, it's an expensive bag and I'm not putting it on the floor, right? Okay, so it comes with a chain. So this bag can be worn this bag is not supposed to be worn like this. This drives me crazy. I have very thin arms and I can't I can't carry it like this. This is a top handle bag. It's either meant to be carried like this, okay, over your shoulder or crossbody. I'm 5'6". I wonder if I can show you guys. Okay, you're not gonna like my outfit because I just got home from work. <laughs> but this is where it hits me. Okay, so let's put this behind here. Let's go like this. Okay, so it hits me right here. All right, now I think a lot of people are okay with that, but really I need it to hit around here. Like it needs to be longer. So it's a little bit short for me for a crossbody bag. And I actually don't like crossbody bags. I don't own one crossbody bag, so I won't carry it like that anyway. So that didn't even matter to me. I will carry it top handle like this. All right, let me show you guys up close, measure it, put all my stuff into it, show you what fits inside. Okay guys, so now you can see her up close. She's so beautiful. The caviar leather on these bags are just so beautiful. This leather is just as nice and thick as the classics. I have to tell you a very big, um, let's get rid of this tag. A very, this bag is 3,900 and then with tax it comes to about 41 or 4,200. Okay, so one big difference is the chain. On the classic Chanel bags, uh, the chain is very thick, very heavy, feels like a piece of jewelry. On these bags, it's very thin. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I would like to say that the hardware is hollow. It is absolutely that light that it really feels hollow. And it's done nicely, but it this chain is not as nice as the classics, I have to tell you, okay? One detail that's really beautiful is the clasp has the CC detail. 
Okay, and then around the top, it has the address of the very first Chanel store, 31 Rue Cambon, um, Paris, and then it says Chanel. So it has the plastic on it still. I just got it, literally. Okay, so um, that's really nice. A detail I love about this bag is it there is no effort to take the chain off. There, it's absolutely effortless, and I really, really love that. Okay, so now this is what she looks like without her chain, but it's really simple to put it on too. Like, it, you know, I love this design. So it can be worn with or without. Okay, let's look at the side detail. It's really wide on the bottom and goes into a almost a triangle, and that's really great for storage. This bag is actually surprisingly quite large. You can get a lot in this bag. I love the back pocket. If you need quick access to your identification, this is very convenient. This is the same style of back pocket as on the classic bag, okay? And the bottom with the four feet, which I showed you, is absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's measure her. Drop of the handle is three inches. She is nine inches long. About four inches wide on the bottom, and then the upper part of the bag about two. Okay, let's look inside and see what she looks like. Okay, one thing I have to tell you guys, if you're interested in this bag, if you get an exotic handle, snake skin, lizard, it comes in um, many different exotic skins of the handle, then the inside of the bag is leather. If you get the handle that matches the bag, then the inside is material. The price point is about $400 difference, okay? But just keep that in mind. So my handle matches the bag, therefore the inside is material. Okay, the inside of the bag is a very coral color. So the outside is this unusual pink and the inside is 100% coral. The zipper does say Chanel. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. This zipper back here is quite tight. Like, I, you know, you might be able to get something in there, but not really. It has the authenticity card in it. Okay. It has the label Chanel made in Italy. Now, some Chanel is made in Paris, some is made in Italy just like Louis Vuitton and Dior. Okay, it has the security tag right in the bottom of the bag right here. Okay, it has the numbers on it. And uh, this back pocket is a little bit tight. It has a slip pocket in the middle and one in the front. Let's see what fits inside. Okay, I have an iPhone. I'm not sure which one this is, but it's uh, quite a big phone, seven, eight, I don't know. Let's see how it fits back here. Fits no problem. The phone fits in there. Matter of fact, there is another two inches of room if you need it for a bigger phone. It's quite spacious. That pocket is tight though. Okay, but the phone fits no problem whatsoever. Okay, let's see what else we can get in here. Okay, I have a camera. It's a Canon G7X. Quite heavy, quite big. Fits in, no problem. Lipstick, no problem. Okay, I would also be able to get my key, my car key in here and also my um, card case. I just carry a little card case. I do not carry a large wallet. I find that obnoxious. I just have a card case and usually I don't carry cash. Okay, so this is what I would carry typically. Take that out. Let's put some sunglasses in. No problem. There's tons of space in here. So this is quite spacious bag. So this is my mini Coco handle. She's so cute, she's so pretty. I have to tell you guys, originally I was looking for this bag in the lighter pink. This bag came out this spring, for spring and summer. It was like a really light pink, a peach pink, a baby pink, I loved it. It sold so fast. I've been trying to get this 
and as soon as it comes in it sells out there is a gray in this version too but I didn't like it it wasn't white it's not really a dark gray it's not really my kind of gray I like it like an elephant like a like a deep gray and it was it just seemed a little bit washed out for me I do like this bag I have to tell you guys I'm just not sure of the color on camera it looks super super coral I take some pictures of this bag and put it in the video for you guys so you can see the actual true color because I really don't feel like it's coming up that much on camera but like I said Chanel is calling this pink to me this is coral dusty rose um, I don't know that this is pink let me get my pink bags and show you guys some comparisons too. hang on okay guys I thought it would be helpful to compare pinks so this is a pink bag I got in Italy a few years ago the brand is Malo I love it I've carried it for years it's in great condition it's a you know nobody knows what it is and I I'm fine with that this is coming off see this is coming off more pink on camera too this is I would say this is more of a salmon pink but I just want to compare the two okay okay for color reference and then okay it's this is like a baby pink a cool tone pink and now this might look more orange so this is a tricky color I gotta say I'm not that's why I have the tag on it still because I'm not sure like I love this I love the bag I love the design I love the top handle I like the chain I like how the chain is not heavy I love the construction I love everything about this bag I'm just not sure about the color let me know in the comments below what you think of this color um, I'm just not sure I have to tell you guys most of my bags are gray black red pink like really neutral you know I don't have like a lot of pops of color and even though this is supposed to be pink it looks coral to me so it does look like a pop of color the only thing about this color I don't live in a hot place I live in a, a seasonal place four seasons so really I can only get about six months out of the year with this bag because it is a seasonal bag it is a spring summer like early early fall bag about six months that's it so I just don't know let me know what you think of course we know we love the style of the bag and this bag right now is so hard to get it's so hot as soon as Chanel puts them out they're, they're gone so I don't know let me know what you think okay thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I wanted to tell you guys my next video is going to be styling bike shorts if you are a girl that likes leggings of any type whether it's cotton leather whatever if you like leggings you will love bike shorts and you need bicycle shorts um, my next video is going to be how to style them for every woman for every size and every styling too casual dressy playful mom on duty date night so look for that coming very soon thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you guys soon bye